Welcome to the Ironman 70.3 Subic Bay Athlete Race Briefing. All athletes are required to read and know the rules and schedule of the race. You may go online at www.ironman.com slash im703-subic-bay-philippines to download the Athlete Information Guide. Athlete Check-In Schedule, June 6, Thursday from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. June 7, Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And on June 8, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Bike mechanics are available during the Athlete Check-In and are located at the Subic Bay Exhibition and Convention Center parking. Bike check-in at Transition 1, Subic Bay Boardwalk, and Run Gear Drop at Transition 2, SBEC, is on Saturday, June 8, from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. There will be transition tours every 30 minutes, starting 11.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Race day is on Sunday, June 9. Transition 1 will open at 4 a.m. Close at 5.20 a.m. The awards presentation is on Sunday, June 9 at 4 p.m. at Hall A1, Subic Bay Exhibition and Convention Center, or SBEC, and will be followed by the 2024 VinFast Ironman 70.3 World Championship Rolldown Ceremony at 5 p.m. Race start on Sunday, June 9 at 5.45 a.m. The expected air temperature is 29 degrees Celsius with a real feel of 34 degrees Celsius. The expected water temperature is 29 degrees Celsius and will be a non-wetsuit swim. The expected water condition will be flat and calm. Wind will be south-southeast 11 kilometers an hour with wind gusts at 22 kilometers an hour. We will provide an update prior to the race. Make sure to check the items included in your race kit. These are the following. Race bib, swim cap, gear bags, street gear bags, bike and helmet stickers, race number tattoo, place on right arm, and wristband. Please make sure that you always wear your wristbands. Your wristband is your form of identification and access in the main race areas. You will need to claim your timing chip when you check in your bike, just before you exit transition. On race day, please make sure you wear your timing chip on your left ankle. If you lose your timing chip during the race, please inform the staff at transition or at the swim start so that our timing team can replace your chip. To those participants who suddenly won't be able to race or decided not to race on Sunday, you must return your timing chip at the race information booth located at the expo area or you may hand it over to our timing team or to our race officials at the transition area. Important medical and health information. Your safety is our primary concern. The medical team will be stationed at the following. Race venue, swim, start and exit. Transition, all bike and run aid stations. And at the finish line. If you are not feeling well on race morning, we strongly advise that you do not start the event. If you decide not to start the event, you must inform a race official so we can officially withdraw you from the event. If you start to feel unwell at any point of the day, we urge you to seek help rather than continue. If during the race you experience chest pain or discomfort, shortness of breath or lightheadedness, please stop immediately and seek medical attention. A medical evaluation does not constitute outside assistance. You will not be disqualified for receiving a medical evaluation or having someone help you in getting medical assistance. During the swim, if you need assistance, raise your arm. If able, also yell, help! Grab onto stationary safety assets if you need help. On the bike and the run, medical staff are located at all aid stations. If you are not in an aid station, stop. Let someone know you need help. Provide your bib number at the recovery or post area. Do not leave the post-race area until you are okay and rehydrated. If you are not well, please go to the medical tent at the finish line to be evaluated. Do not be afraid to ask for help. You will not be disqualified for receiving a medical evaluation. Manage your health and safety on race day. Race healthy, race smart. 
designated parking areas are located at Moon Bay Marina for swim and transition one and at Tung Long Parking Lot at Efficiency Street, Subic Bay Gateway Park for Athlete Village and transition two. Please take note that there will be no lane lines along the swim course. Directional and site buoys will be available on the course and are set up 100 meters apart. Yellow buoys for outbound. Orange buoys for inbound. Red buoys for turning. All turning buoys will be red. Bike check-in at Transition 1 Subic Bay Boardwalk on Saturday, June 8th from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Make sure that you queue based on the number of your race bib. Below is the schedule. 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Athlete numbers ending in 1 and 2. 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Athlete numbers ending in 3 and 4. 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Athlete numbers ending in 5 and 6. 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Athlete numbers ending in 7 and 8. 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Athlete numbers ending in 9 and 0. Only bikes are allowed to check in. No bike check-in on race morning. Helmet check, bike gear bags, and street bag drop is on race morning. You must drop your run gear bag on Saturday, June 8, from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Transition 2 s Bag. Race bib with safety pins or race belt. Provide your own. Nutrition, hydration, cap, and sunglasses. Four relay teams. All relay members must be present and together during the athlete check-in to pick up their assigned race packets. Relay members cannot pick up a race packet for their teammates and will not be able to check in if a relay team member is missing. All relay members must have a photo ID. At check-in, all team members will be required to sign their own individual waivers. No waiver, no race. A relay team will be assigned one bib number. Please note the team differences. Race bib number worn by the runner. Athlete wristband. Each team member will receive their own wristband. Street gear bag. Each team member will receive their own bag. Timing chips will be picked up at bike check-in. There will only be one timing chip per team. Relay teams will need to exchange their timing chip at the relay tent in transition. Bike mechanics will be located at the bike mechanics tent inside transition. Please make sure you go to them if you need their services. Only basic services will be available. On race morning, Sunday, June 9, from 4 a.m. till 5.20 a.m. at Transition 1 check-in. Make sure to bring all the items you need for the race. These are Timing chip Swim cap Helmet Bike shoes Bike pump Make sure your bike pump is labeled with a sticker included in your kit. Leave your bike pumps at the bike pump drop-off near the bike checkout tents. Bike gear bag Blue bag Street gear bag Drop at the intersection of Labitan Street, Corner Waterfront Road from 4 a.m. to 5.20 a.m. Remember to follow the prescribed course. It is the athlete's responsibility to know the course. Athletes must cover the prescribed course in its entirety. Failure to do so will result in disqualification. If an athlete must exit the course, he or she shall re-enter the course at the same point of departure before continuing. Swim The swim starts at the Subic Bay Boardwalk Beach, fronting the waterfront road. Participants will do a one-loop counterclockwise format which begins with a straight 750 meters, followed by a left turn for 400 meters, then a final 750 meter left turn, bringing them to the beach area. After completion, participants will exit and head to the transition area to start the bike course. There will be no official swim practice before race day. But there will be a swim warm-up on race morning from 5.30 a.m. to 5.40 a.m. on the right side of the swim start area. The timing mat is located under the start arch. Your time will start the moment you cross the timing mat. Participants will be released by rolling start. Six participants for five seconds. Swim start is at 5.45 a.m. Here are the following swim zones. Swim zone 1. 
30 minutes and below, blue swim cap. Swim zone 2, 31 to 35 minutes, pink swim cap. Swim zone 3, 36 to 40 minutes, violet swim cap. Swim zone 4, 41 to 45 minutes, yellow swim cap. Swim zone 5, 46 minutes and above, neon green swim cap. First time participants or those who might need special attention during the swim, please make sure you wear a white swim cap. Please ask your corral marshal for a white swim cap. This is on a first come, first served basis. Swimwear must not cover the neck, go past the elbow or extend past the knees. Sleeves can be worn but cannot extend past the elbow. Swimwear may contain a zipper. A race kit may be worn underneath the swimwear if it does not extend past the elbow or below the knee. Illegal swimwear will result in disqualification. Calf sleeves are not allowed in the swim. An aid station is available at the swim exit. Swim cutoff is 70 minutes after the last athlete crosses the start line at the rolling start. Please note that relay runners will be allowed to race if the cyclist is cut off or DNF. Race will be NC or not classified. Bike. The 90-kilometer bike course is a two-loop course in the Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway or SETEX. The entire bike course features an estimated elevation gain and loss of 1,600 meters, with the maximum slope reaching 9.7% to 9.5% when heading towards Tipo Gate from both the start and the end of the SETEX course. The course consists of asphalt and concrete surfaces. The initial 3-kilometer segment entails navigating a busy road section exiting Subic Bay, followed by a challenging 8-9 to nine kilometer climb to Tipo Gate. Once on Essitex, expect open and flat road, with a steep ascent on the way out and a fast descent back to Subic Bay. The bike course will start at Esbeck, heading towards Rizal Avenue. Participants turn right onto Esfex Road, continuing towards Tipo Gate to enter Essitex. Riders head to Dinalupihan, reaching the first turnaround at kilometer 29, then back towards the second turnaround just before Tipo Gate at kilometer 45, completing the first loop. They then proceed to the third turnaround at kilometer 62, returning to Tipo Gate at kilometer 80, exiting Essitex and returning to Subic via Esfex. Exiting Rizal Avenue, participants turn right towards Esbeck to conclude the bike course and enter Transition 2. There will be a roving mechanic in the first 10 kilometers on the course. Stationary bike mechanics are available at Turnaround 1 and 2. Make sure you ask a bike marshal if you need assistance. This is on a first-come, first-serve basis. Expect wait times. There are three aid stations with a total of five passes within the bike course. These are located at the turnaround points and on the last 13 kilometers of the bike course. Bike Aid Station 1, Kilometer 23, Kilometer 55. Bike Aid Station 2, Kilometer 35, Kilometer 68. Bike Aid Station 3, Kilometer 83. The following are available at the aid stations. Light water in sports bottles. Ion Plus Advanced Electrolyte in sports bottles. Goo Energy Gels are available at Aid Station 1. Portable toilets are available at Aid Station. The trash zone is 30 meters before and 30 meters after the Aid Station. These will be clearly marked with signages. Please slow down and stay on the right side when approaching the aid station. To those who will not collect from the aid station, please keep left. There are designated trash zones within the bike aid stations. Please make sure you dispose at these areas only. Please do not litter. Follow race marshals and directional signs for guidance and safety on the course. Bike and gear checkout schedule, June 9. Sunday, 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. All unclaimed bikes will be left at the transition area. Organizers will not be liable for any unclaimed bikes. The Ironman 70.3 Subic Bay is a non-drafting race. Strict and knowledgeable bike marshals will penalize you for drafting. So, make sure you follow the instructions if you are told to stop by a bike marshal. 
please take note of the Iron Man drafting rules. Maintain a drafting distance of 12 meters. Riders must complete a pass within 25 seconds and should pass on the left side. It is the rider's responsibility to drop back the 12 meters out of the draft zone for the athlete in front of you and avoid a penalty. Riders passing on the right will receive an illegal pass penalty. Drafting penalty is 5 minutes for each penalty. Penalty tent is located at SBEC, which is 100 meters before the dismount area at Transition 2. If you do receive a penalty from the race referees or race officials, they will show you a blue, yellow, or red card. The official will tell you to stop at the penalty tent and will note your race number and other information. These are the official penalty cards. Blue is for drafting and intentional littering. Penalty is 5 minutes at the penalty tent. Yellow card is for blocking. Penalty is 30 seconds. Three penalties will result in a red card, which means disqualification from the race. Please do not argue with the race officials, but do acknowledge the card. If you do not report to the penalty tent to serve your penalty, you will be disqualified. Bike cutoff time is 5 hours and 30 minutes after the last rolling start release. Please take note of the intermediate bike cutoff times based on the last swimmer entering the water. Kilometer 80 at 10.55 a.m. Transition 2, SBEC at 11.20 a.m. Please take note that relay runners will be allowed to race if the cyclist is cut off or DNF. Race will be NC or not classified. Run! The run course features a combination of concrete and asphalt surfaces with half of the road lane closed for runners and the other half open to motor traffic. Expect numerous spectators along the course, so remain cautious and follow course signages, marshals, and traffic cones. The estimated total elevation gain and loss is approximately 135 meters. The maximum slope ranges between 3.5% to 4.1% and is encountered at turnaround 1 and turnaround 2. Lap bands will be distributed at the completion of each loop. The 21.1 kilometer run course consists of two loops that will start at the SBEC. Participants will head towards Efficiency Street and turn towards Hitachi Road exiting Benictican Drive and turn right heading to Mariton Highway. From Mariton Highway, they will make their first turnaround at the corner of El Caballo Road before heading back and turning right to Benictican Drive. Participants will continue towards Subic Bay International Golf Club before making the second turnaround. They head back and turn right at Hitachi Road heading towards Efficiency Street for the third turnaround to end the first loop. Participants will complete one more loop and head back to SBEC for the finish line. Participants will be given lap bands at the following points. Lap 1, kilometer 7, white. Lap 2, kilometer 17, yellow. There are six aid stations within the run course, with a total of 12 passes. Run aid station 1, kilometer 1, kilometer 11. Run aid station 2, kilometer 3.5, kilometer 13.5. Run aid station 3, kilometer 4.5, kilometer 14.5. Run aid station 4, kilometer 6.3, kilometer 16.3. Run aid station 5. Kilometer 8.3, kilometer 18.3. Run 8 station 6, kilometer 10, kilometer 20. The following are available at the 8 stations. Light water, Ion Plus Advanced Electrolyte, Banana, Chips, Ice, Portable Toilets and Splash Zone. Cola and Goo Gels are available only at Run 8 station 1 and 2. There are designated trash zones within the run aid stations. Please make sure you dispose at these areas only. Please follow race marshals and directional signs for guidance and safety on the course. Run cutoff is 8 hours and 30 minutes from the last athlete entering the water with expected course cutoff at 2.20 p.m. Please take note of the intermediate run cutoff time. Turnaround at kilometer 10.5 
at approximately 12.55 p.m. Finish line at approximately 2.20 p.m. The timing system will ensure you have completed the run course. Please ensure you follow the prescribed course. It is the athlete's responsibility to know the course. Athletes must cover the prescribed course in its entirety. Failure to do so will result in disqualification. If an athlete must exit the course, he or she shall re-enter the course at the same point of departure before continuing. Athletes that do not complete the course within the designated course cutoff time will fall into one of two classifications in the race results. Did not finish or DNF. Athlete to miss a swim course or bike course cutoff time or an intermediate bike or run course cutoff time will not be allowed to continue. Not classified or NC. Athlete to cross the finish line before the run course is closed but end up with a total race time over the maximum allowed time to complete the entire course. Finishing the Ironman 70.3 Subic Bay is your ultimate goal. We at Ironman would like you to have the best experience at the finish line. So make sure you smile, dance, celebrate, and ring that bell when you PR. Do keep in mind that you're the only one allowed to cross the finish line. No family, no friends, no coaches will be allowed to cross the finish line with you. Finish line process. Once you cross the line, marshals will congratulate you and you will receive a medal, towel, light water, Ion Plus Advanced Electrolyte and hand over your timing chip. Then proceed to the recovery area for a shower, street gear bag pickup, and food. Awards presentation is on Sunday, June 9, 4 p.m. at Hall A1 for the top three athletes in each age group. This will be followed by the 2024 VinFast Ironman 70.3 World Championships Roll Down Ceremony. There is a total of 45 age group slots available, plus an additional 15 slots for women to the 2024 FinFast Ironman 7.3 World Championships on the 14th to 15th of December 2024 in Taupo, New Zealand. The total price is 780 US dollars, inclusive of all taxes and fees that must be paid at the time. Roll down ceremony process. If you hope to earn a slot, please be on time for slot allocation. If you qualify for a slot and your name is called but you're not there to claim the slot, the slot is lost and will roll to the next athlete on the list. And there will be no opportunity to get it back. If you don't think that you were fast enough to qualify but still wish to go to the World Championships, just show up. There will always be a chance you can earn a slot as it is common for some slots to roll down from the top athletes in each age division. If you do take the slot, you will need a photo ID and be prepared to pay the $1,400 US registration fee at the time. Only Visa and MasterCard are accepted. The Ironman Tracker app provides official real-time athlete tracking. Download the app on your phone to track athletes' times. Find them on the interactive map and share race day updates on social media. Sportograph is our official partner for high-quality athlete photography in this race. They will proudly provide you with their photo flat to relive the experience of your Ironman 70.3 Subic Bay. Smile and celebrate your achievement. Visit www.sportograph.com. This was your Ironman 70.3 Subic Bay race briefing. Good luck and see you at the finish line.